Hello everyone. Welcome to the Biological Database video. If you are a student or a teacher who is completely new to bioinformatics, consider this tutorial as a very basic guide or an explanation to the Biological Database. Today we are going to look at uh, a biological database which is called as Uniprot. Uniprot is a part of um, SIB that is a uh, Swiss Institute of uh, Bioinformatics and it is a biological database for proteins. Right? So all the information regarding uh, the protein sequences, uh, the protein structures can be obtained uh, from Uniprot. So uh, if you go to Google, you type uh, Uniprot and then you go for the first uh, hit. Now, um, you might have heard of Swissprot also, which is another protein database. So Swissprot and Uniprot both are the part of um, SIB. So even if you type Swissprot, uh, the, uh, which you can see here, all right, even if you type Swissprot, the um, um, hit which is going to be shown to you is about Uniprot itself. The reason being is, uh, as you can see on the left hand side, the Swiss prot is the manually annotated and the reviewed one and uh, there is also um, a tremble which is translated EMBL that is the translated sequence, sequences of EMBL. So both your manually uh, curated, annotated and reviewed data as well as your translated sequence data, both this data is present in this a uh, huge uh, knowledge base which is called as or a database which is called as your Uniprot. Right? So now let's um, uh, start um, uh, using this database. So uh, I want to say uh, search a sequence, uh, the different sequences for um, let's say the P53 protein. Right? So I type P53 and then I click on enter. After it happens, then you get a number of hits. So uh, there are two types of hits as it is stated here. You have a reviewed hit, okay, which is manually annotated. Uh, this manually annotated data is nothing but extracted as it's mentioned here from your literature databases and also from your uh, computational. And also there is an unreviewed data, which is from the trim, uh, Trimble, which is a computational analysis. So both this data you will be finding it. So around 92,144 um, hits we have got for the P53. All right. So here you can see the tremble data and there are a lot, uh, many um, reviewed or the curated data. Now, uh, if you see on the left hand side, you can see the filters. Okay. Uh, there are 2,300 reviewed ones and 89,000 unreviewed ones. Then you have uh, the filters about which organism you want to go ahead with or um, then you also have the search results about regarding the gene name, ontology, organism. You can also view them according uh, to the taxonomy, the keywords, etc. So uh, if you see here, uh, if you look at the hits, the first ever hit is about P53 uh, underscore human because the organism here is about homo sapiens. The sequence length is uh, 393. So uh, you have for mouse, you have for rat, okay, you have for monkey. So depending on whatever your um, um, uh, sequence of interest is, which you are actually finding, if you want to find for a mice, you can get P53 sequence for mouse here, if you need to find for rat. So this is completely dependent upon what you are actually searching for. But let's say for simplicity, we are searching for uh, P53 for homo sapiens. Okay. So then we click on this entry ID here, which is P04637. Uh, you can call this as an entry ID. You can call this as, as an accession number for Uniprot. Uh, it's your choice. All right. So let's click on P04637. Yeah. All right. So here is. Uh, in the information about your Uniprot. So now let's explore the uh, Uniprot in detail. Okay, so the first one here is your name, which is your P53. Then you have the gene. So your P53 cellular tumor antigen belongs to the gene name, which is TP53. The organism is Homo sapiens and it is uh, uh, the status is reviewed, all right, as it's stated here. Uh, now let's explore it, uh, this entire P53. Uh, on using this display 
the left filters okay the left column which you can see you have entry your function and everything so let's go for the function here okay now we can see it here but just I'll, I'll use this this method okay for simplicity so we have the function so this gives you the function of p53 if you click on the drop down you can see the 13 publications you can read all the 30 publications regarding the p53 uh, what uh, which is a part of your uh, unicode all right um, all right so uh, this is in short um, the molecular molecular function biological process of your uh, p53 all right um, this here gives you um, the various databases with which your uh, p53 is actually connected with all right so uh, uh, this is the reactome database okay uh, this is reactome is nothing but your um, a pathway database all right uh, the enzyme or the pathway databases so um, uh, these are all the list of the pathways all right uh, with where your p53 uh, can be involved all right uh, the same thing your protein and group databases i'm not going into the individual clicking of uh, because then it would uh, take me to a different database and a different explanation overall i'll again scroll up because as i told you i will use this left bar here uh, next we we'll, let's go for the names and uh, taxonomy so if i click on uh, names and taxonomy um, it's going to give me oh, one minute yeah if i click on names and taxonomy it's going to give me the name of the protein the gene name uh, the taxonomic identifiers what is your taxonomy here the lineages okay uh, this is your uh, taxonomy lineage for uh, our organism which is your homo sapien uh, next let's go to if you click on subcellular location it will uh, take you here the so subcellular location here uh, gives you all the various um, uh, places okay, in your um, so in your cell uh, where all the p53 uh, acts and it's present okay so all right uh, next let's go to pathology and biotech so pathology and biotech uh, tells us uh, how p53 what is the importance or uh, significance of tp53 or cellular tp53 uh, tp53 in your diseases we know about cancer uh, very widely we know it that p53 uh, plays a um, um, i mean the defect in p53 or mutation in p53 uh, leads to cancer as it is said here okay it is frequently mutated and activated about 60 percent of the cancer so which all cancer what are the different types of cancers okay is what you can see here all right so there's a huge list of diseases what you will find when it comes to involvement of T5, uh, tp53 in your diseases so one thing remember in bioinformatics um, uh, your uh, objective should be clear so what you are searching for what is the objective for what you are searching if that is clear then this searching okay of uh, of a specific organism of a specific uh, protein of a specific uh, dna or specific gene makes uh, or uh, makes it makes more sense okay so this is very important tip which i'm telling you your objective should be very clear of what you want to find So uh, the next is your uh, PTM and processing PTM stands for your post translational modification. Okay. Uh, and this entire section is about your post translation modification. So how, um, um, uh, uh, what are the various genes or uh, the phosphorylation or um, uh, 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 ubiquitination of what all genes leads uh, uh, how and how does it affect your p53 is what is being explained in your post translation modification section okay next we'll go to expression your expression here stands for your protein expression so in your tissue in your gene expression um, how the p53 actually plays a critical role if you go to any of these uh, gene expression databases you will get to know more in detail about it all right um again you have the gene ontology molecular functions and then finally you have your protein protein interaction database as well now uh, okay uh, so uh, the next one here is your structure uh, if you see the structure uh, this gives you the information about all the protein structures or the pdb structures okay um, if you see this one aiu one sorry 
structure i'll click here so if you click on one aiu one aie uh, one c26 so this is one aiu if i click on one aie the structure would change yeah so uh, these are all the structures which are associated with your p50 and if you click on any of these links it's going to take you to so this is an nmr structure of uh, which is 1dt7 which your position of uh, 367 to 388 all right so this is um, uh, one. So if you click on any of these links, it will take you to this respective structure. So there's a huge list of structures, all right, um, uh, of uh, which are associated with your P50. All right. Um, okay. The next one is the sequences. So this is your sequence for uh, which is here. This is your sequence for uh, P53. Uh, you can click here and download the faster sequence. All right. Um, of the p53 next is your cross references so there if you want to go through various web resources of whatever you have seen on the top you can see uh, you can go about you can look at the see various sequence databases of your choice 3d structure databases uh, so this is the entire information of your cross referencing uh, then you have the entry information so your uh, this sequence was actually um, entered in I think 2009 and there's a last modification in 2020 uh, this goes to show that every time there is something new uh, this uh, p53 human gets mutated so that's one good thing so if you can see here this is the version 287 all right uh, of the entry and the version 4 of the sequence so the sequence has been modified four times and this entire information has been modified 287 times so we need to be rest assured that whatever information we are getting is correct because the last modification or the last update for this uh, p53 here was august 12 so um, past that is yeah from 2009 to 2020 every time in 11 years a lot of uh, modifications which has been done so we don't need to worry about it. and last is your miscellaneous section all right so this is uh, i'll go directly to entry this is uh, how to actually look or to uh, this in detail study of your Uniprot uh, P53. Okay. I hope you have uh, liked this video. Uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to like it. Thank you.